So this is Moro Knives. I didn't know anything about this because your boy's a noob, you know? But like, look at these fucking knives, man. They're crazy. Look at this. Dude. What? Jeez, bro. Steampunk. This one's called the Steampunk. Damn, it's got like, some clockwork stuff going inside the internals on the scales. That's what it looks like. That looks insane. There's four videos. We're going to watch them all right now. <laughs> that is crazy. Look at that. When you open the knife up, it reveals ruby eyes on the mechanical skull. That is the coolest freaking thing like I've ever seen in the knife world. That is so insane. These got to be like 10 G's, right? 20 G's or something? I never seen this. I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but I hope I've shown you guys something cool that you've never uh, gotten to check out. This account finds knives that are very similar to poop <laughs> and showcases them in an incredible fashion. I mean, I am just looking at the progression of the knives that this page has highlighted. At first, you got your typical ones like the Ken Onion. What is this? The, uh, this is not the Ripple. I forgot what this is called. I forgot what it's called. It's, it's not the, is it the Ripple? No, no, it's not. Um, I forgot what it's called, but that shit look like poop, bro. And then this one, I, I feel like I submitted this one. This is the best tech free fall from what I know. And uh, it was one of the worst knives I tried re this year. It says, those ripples in the handle are from trying and failing to cut off the log prematurely. I mean, look at this. This is just trash. The frag pattern gives new meaning to blowing up a toilet. Uh, and <laughs> Knife Nuts podcast put fire in the hole. When you switch what you're eating mid-meal. <laughs> oh my God. This came out of a mammoth. Whoa, you mean like it's tusk? Kinda. <laughs> I love this page and I'm just gonna browse through this. Turned up the saturation on this pic of my floater last night. <laughs> That's fucked up. And then look at these right here. I mean, these look, they, they're so bad though. Like, you know, they might be high end or something, but these look really bad. I'm gonna see if I actually like any of them. You know what I'm saying? So let's do that right now. I'm back on the gram. I'm on the... Oh, this is Wee Knife fan photos. Whoops. I hate... Dude, I fucking hate on Instagram how, like, all of these fan sites are, like, just... Uh, you, you think they're Wee Knives, but they're not. Drives me crazy, bro. It's like, just name it something else, yo. Don't name it Wee Knife something so that I click on it or I tag it and you guys just get bigger off the Wee Knife name. But you're not Wee Knives, man. Fuck, bro. Uh, CJRB gets Scoria Slicer ready for Blade Show 2021. The Frankie is meowing again, as usual. Would not complete the show if he wasn't. He meowing like crazy. Jeez. Frankie, chill. See a carbon fiber and a blacked out blade here with like green thumb studs, green pivot ring. Frankie, shut up. You're an incel. Study finds a shrunken head prop used in 1970s John Huston film is actually a real human head. Oh boy. The Sansa, as it's known in Amazonian languages, was also featured in the 1979 film Wise Blood. Researchers spent years trying to authenticate the artifact so it can be sent back to Ecuador. I almost started reading it like a news person. A shrunken head artifact that has been on display for decades at a Georgia university and was featured as a prop in the 1979 John Huston film, Wise Blood. Back to you, Ray. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm so stupid, dude. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.